Hi, my name is Eric, and this is a demo of the Context Builder update that shipped with Repo Prompt 1.1. So to understand the Context Builder, we have to explain code maps. Um, and to explain code maps, it's best if I just show you what that looks like. So a code map is a parsing of all of the files in your code base that are have supported extensions. Um, so we've got TypeScript and JavaScript and Python in this repo, and we're able to surface all of these. And what this does is it will scan each of these files and extract relevant information like constants, properties, uh, methods, uh, enums. So we've got all kinds of you know information here that, that is exposed. And um, what this does then is that it gives an idea to an LLM of what a class can do. And this helps prevent hallucinations. So previously you're able to include these code maps. And if I go ahead and provide complete, you'll see that we've got you know, 1300 maps included, 42 files selected. So if I remove or go to auto, we'll have one map exposed here, but um, you'll see the context goes way down. But if I go ahead and select everything in the repo, um, this is up to 2 million tokens, which is just far too much. So I went ahead and generated with Gemini 2.5, a list of all of the files that we might find relevant here. This is still quite a lot. Um, and it's probably still too much for what I need here. So I can go ahead and try this again and just use a smaller model like Gemini Flash. And I've gone ahead and just re-enabled these file size limits. So what this will do is it will take uh, each query to 16,000 tokens um, and run through and split it up in parallel. So we're able to split this up into different tasks um, and it'll run through and analyze all of the files with their code maps and analyze how relevant each one is to a given task. So um, dynamically, it will load balance, so this scales to even very large repos. Um, and you'll get a very concise list of files at the end because each one will surface their list, and at the end, there's a refinement step that will let us just get the most relevant files. Um, so you know, traditionally, the way that you select files in repo prompt is that you know the code base well, and then you pick the files that are you know relevant. But in this repo, I don't know it super well, so. Um, it's actually you know quite a little a little bit more work to to go ahead and try and find everything. So as you can see here, you know, Gemini surfaced quite a lot of files here, um, and this is a pretty good list. So this will actually let us get to work. I can hit apply, um, and then all of the files that we found are are selected, uh, and this amounts to just fifteen thousand tokens. So if your if your alternative was to include the whole code base, you know you're able to get much more work done with just focusing on this. And you'll get much better model results too. The more you clamp down on token use, the better results you'll get. Um, now, what's great with this as well is that you know we get a little name. This is not super descriptive, but I can save that as a preset here. And this is the models preset. So if I go ahead and deselect everything, um, and then just go ahead and that and save a new preset there. So that's preset one. Um, I can go ahead and go back to models, and then all those files are reselected. So this was a new presets feature we shipped recently. Uh, this helps you just keep context. So you can build basically all the context you need for the different tasks you're working on. Use the, let the AI models do that work for you. Set up your presets and you can hop to work and you can get in parallel um, your tasks up, just split them up and you know use whatever tool you want. So you can either copy, use them in ChatGPT or whatever, or head to the chat and see some of our other videos on how you can do that as well. So that's it. That's the that's the context builder update. And um, this is still the start. Um, this is the first feature we've shipped on top of code maps. And as you can see, code maps are incredibly valuable and language support will expand over time. Um, but if you wanna see what we support now, you can check out the documentation on the RepoProm website and hopefully that gives you some insight into how that works. And if you have questions, hop on Discord or just uh, ping me on Twitter, happy to answer. So hope that helps and hope you get a try and let me know what you think. All right, cheers.